what is going on guys well if you all know by now our 4.4 update that was set to release this week has been delayed this update was to deliver the two new smaller maps we saw gamescom alongside other performance updates such as stuttering issues and hitbox desyncs but due to the devs encountering critical bugs and their focus on fixing the game and not releasing any more bugs this update has been pushed back another week now that's not all too much a surprise by now this has been a reoccurring theme all the way back since the release of the mercury map where it felt like the performance issues for battlefield hit an all-time high for a while now i've been thinking about how stuff should be prioritized when it comes to development of battlefield or just games in general whether performance should be on top of the list or new content and given the environment we're in right now i thought that today would be a good day to talk about this I'd like to show you guys a really, really good tweet done by Flackfire. I think he summarized it up really well here and got straight to the point. He placed on a triangle three things in development cycle. On each point, I'm sure is something that everyone cares about. You know, everyone cares about having no bugs in their game, but everyone also cares about they don't have to wait a decade long later to experience new content. And when that content eventually comes out, is it substantial? Like, is there a lot of it or is it just being drip fed out? And then he says, choose two. Now, before I get into this, I do want to hear what you guys think about this and give me your feedback on which you guys would choose down in the comments below. But with that said, I don't completely agree with the premise of choose two because I do think all three is possible. So before I start talking about the two out of three that I would choose, I do want to talk about this really quick. And I, I do feel like we shouldn't just completely throw out the possibility that all three can be achieved. Um, now, I, I do understand getting two out of three here in the image is pretty good. And it is amazing to see how quickly everyone gets upset over something that is much more difficult and... I think it's still pretty much oversimplified just to say, oh, just choose two of the three, and that's just easily going to be done. And I'm sure Flackfire is aware that he's, you know, oversimplifying it, and it's much more difficult than that. He's just getting straight to the point, and I'm not saying either that he doesn't think that three out of three can't be achieved, but he's just being realistic with the matter. But I did want to add on that I don't feel like we should completely lose belief uh, or lose the standard that three out of three can be achieved, and... If you lose that belief completely, in my opinion, then, you know, you're never going to have an option ever to achieve that. And I, I think that belief is very much necessary in anything you do in life. So, um, you don't want to ever lose that standard. But as well, you don't want to lose reality either and not lose the, you know, the uh, basis of understanding that two out of three here is pretty darn good as well. So, let's first start off on my list, uh, which I would choose... 100% out of the time with anything I would do if I was developing this stuff and my mindset would always be no matter what to make sure uh, that bugs were handled with first that is like on top of my list no matter what and this goes back further than Battlefield 5's chaos this has always been on top of my list and that's always to have no bugs in the game I mean if there's one thing that's caused me to put down a game as fast as I can it has definitely been bugs I've always thought what's the point of new content or getting stuff out on time if the game just doesn't work like there's just no point in it in my opinion because uh, all that effort and new content isn't really playable and it just destroys the experience of what's new and it just ruins that moment of excitement to finally get new content out and to find out that it's just completely unplayable now when it comes to my next choice that's when it gets really difficult because i, I want to place it somewhere between substantial content but on time as well and i know i gotta choose two out of three but if I can be guaranteed that the substantial amount of content will eventually come out, uh, then I would choose on time. Because whatever content comes out, even though it's being dripped, fed out, I'll absorb it up and probably play with it more and appreciate it more given that the game works and I can actually enjoy whatever it is that I'm playing with. I mean, yes, of course, I want a lot of content to come out, but I don't know if how long I want to wait for that content to come out. Do I have to wait like six months, which is basically what we had to do between Panzerstorm to the new Mercury map? 
um, for things like substantial content to come out, and I'm aware a lot of people don't even consider that substantial content, neither do I. Uh, but if we were to talk about, let's say, take the DLC models of four new maps, of uh, the first month out of the year, uh, they give out two of those maps, and then the next month, which would be like on February, they would give out uh, just another map, and then uh, on that third month, which would be March, they would give out the final uh, fourth map. And then they would take a break, and then they would repeat the cycle for the rest of the year, which would eventually then bring out 12 new maps. Uh, now, I I'm, I'm sure I'm beginning to oversimplify it here, because now it's beginning to actually sound like a pretty good game uh, to experience 12 maps uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, but if you check this out, and if you take all the new maps for this year, including maps like Firestorm and the two smaller 5 vs 5 maps that are soon set to release, and redevelop those as 32 vs 32 player maps, well, we would, of course, for this year, um, have revisioned the 32 vs 32 Firestorm map. Um, we would then have the new Mercury and Marina map, so that would be three maps for the first part of the year. Then we would have Alice and Dan. We would then have the two smaller 5 vs 5 maps that have been reimagined into something larger to fit 64 players. And then finally we would have Operation Metro, and that there is four maps for the middle part of the year. And then finally we have what we know so far as three maps coming for the launch of the Pacific Theater later for the last part of the year. So that in total would end up being 10 maps. And let's not forget Panzerstorm was launched during the latter weeks of December 2018. So again, 10 maps. And I know that's not 12 and that's not the perfect envisioned uh, form of content I thought about a second ago, but 10 is not that bad either. It's only down a couple of maps and Hey, it's kind of interesting when you put these things in perspective and and really just think how a little change in focus could go a pretty long way. But that's, of course, just my humble opinion at looking at stuff. It would be interesting to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you like me where you prioritize performance in the game on the very top of your list and choose maybe somewhere between on time and having substantial content? And, um, you know, you if you have, have to have a choice, you would choose and having things on time. Or are you something completely different? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below because uh, this is where we're going to be at for a little bit here. I think where DICE is going to be focusing on making sure that there is no more bugs in the game. And we're going to probably see the content begin to uh, be drip fed out, um, unfortunately. And that's where it's going to be at for now. But I, I think for at least our next Battlefield title, uh, it will be kind of interesting. And from here on out, what DICE focuses on most. And I'd be curious to hear what you guys think should be prioritized if you had to choose two out of three. But that is it for you guys today. Again, I always appreciate you guys being here. I am living, and I'll catch you guys again later.